Dear Traveller and welcome. Today we're having a look at the Olympus Care Media 765 Ultra Zoom. Never heard of it? Great. So pull up a chair or take a squat and let's go over it. Unleashed from the mad scientists at Olympus in 2004, this lightweight is packed with the following. 4 megapixel CCD sensor, 10 times optical zoom, manual modes, super macro mode, inbuilt flash, shoots JPEG and TIFF, and a bunch of other stuff, but who cares? It's 2021. You know what you're getting. It's an old digicam, so all you're really wondering is, where am I going to find the space to plug in another priority charger? So why the 765 Ultra Zoom slaps? Good question. The short answer is, it was cheap. I honestly didn't know what to expect except for the fact that Olympus knows what they're doing. We'll circle back to this point later. The whole shtick behind the 765 is the name. Big surprise there. It has a 10 times Ultra Zoom, which was the first of its kind. And to be able to fit it into such a small body is quite remarkable. What's a 10 times Zoom look like you ask? Okay, see that? Boom. Now it's a boat. So you're not impressed? No worries. This zoom has a trick up its sleeve that we'll check out later. So I have to say I really don't love the design and ergodynamics of this camera. And I get it. You have to have this protruding lens so that you can fit the zoom into it. And the less collapsible parts means it will be more reliable and possibly you can fit better optics. But as a camera I personally don't like, and this is probably why I think I never ended up getting a Sigma DP1, as it has a similar body shape. I got this camera in mint, like new, plus 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 condition. Since I've taken it out for a quick walk, I dropped it three times, and now it looks 40 years old. Nice. In its defense, it's very compact, almost like a Pentax Q with a 50mm lens on it. And it's a solid camera. And yeah, you could put a wrist strap on it. And honestly, I was considering deleting this rant because essentially I'm making a big deal out of a minor personal dislike. So keep that in mind. Now, if you're taking shots inside, you're not going to get much that's usable without the flash. But once you take this bad boy into a sunny day, watch those colors pop. If you're a Fuji fanboy, please block your ears for a sec. I've had an X-Pro1, but these Olympus cameras can push a huge amount of color and it looks great. Plus it handles post editing surprisingly well for an old girl. And this one is out of a 4 megapixel CCD under the hood. Okay slaps, that's enough talking. Make with the juicy images already. Okay, let's do that now.